Hey y'all, quick message. So this, this video is for, to warn you guys, don't be this person. And we see it all the time on, on all the gospel videos. It's always a person who doesn't believe in how the word is being preached. Um, they have a different um, understanding of it. And a lot of the times, these people don't even be real believers. You'll ask them, who is Jesus Christ to them? And they won't be able to even give you an answer. Because Jesus Christ don't mean anything to them most of the time. Okay? I'm just so tired of the stone throwers. Not particularly towards me, but towards other people that I have seen, like Michael Todd. People throw stones at him all the time, call him a fake prophet. Um, Ed Centronale, they call him a fake prophet. Um, the one testimony video um, of the Koreans giving their testimony about heaven, people have thrown rocks at, at her and, and their testimonies. Come on now. It's, it's really ridiculous. And then they'll use the word of God to try to debunk anything and everything that they say. And they use the word of God out of context. I'm tired of these sort of people. They are so annoying. If you feel like you don't believe in a certain testimony or you don't like the way that person preaches and whatnot, just go on about your business. Why sit there and be a, a stone thrower? It makes no sense. It really doesn't. And it just shows the character of that person who will sit there and throw stones. The things that they say don't be coming out of love. It, it doesn't come out of correction. It be coming out of, of hate and anger and bitterness. They don't know that person's heart. The only person who knows that person's heart is Father God in heaven who sits on the throne right now. And it'll be really sad if they were mistaken. But the damage will be already done because you already cast all those stones upon that person. It reminds me of, um, of Saul in the Bible. The, the one who um, would distract people and push people away from God. But then he ended up being a person of God and, and being a vessel of God. But before then, he was terrible. And that's who those people remind me of. These, these stone throwers, that's who exactly who they remind me of. They think that they're doing a justice for God, but really they're doing an injustice. And it really shows how they're very immature if they're even a believer at all. If you don't like the way how somebody's preaching or what they're doing, leave. But to cast stones at them is ridiculous. And they're not blameless to, to be throwing stones at anybody. I'm just tired of it. It's just really, it's really disgusting and despicable behavior. And it's not of God. It's not of love. If you have a problem with somebody, pray for them. The prayers of the righteous will go forward. The Lord will heal you, hear you and he'll intervene. If you know somebody and they following somebody and you don't like the way that that person is giving the word and you want to help your friend, bring the word of God to them and, and don't take it out of context. And if, and if they still want to listen, okay, let them be. But to throw rocks at the people of God, you don't know their heart and you could be very mistaken. And the damage will already have been done. You thought you was doing God a, a service, but really in reality, you weren't.
That's all I got to say. <laughs> don't be that person. Seriously, don't be that person. An argumentative person is an immature believer. Truly. If a if they're a believer at all. Because people who will sit there and argue to the sun up, to the sun down. And try to get people to stop listening to a message. <sighs> Check who they is. Because they may not be who they say they are. All right, y'all. Well, I'm out. And y'all have a blessed, blessed rest of the day.